Oh, so good to have you with me this week. Got a powerful word of the week for you. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 1. This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. The scriptures are very plain in this language. That in the mouth of two or three is something established. You know, anytime you're involved in a situation with your health, your money, your marriage, anything that your, your, your circumstances in general, your possessions, your house, that's a circumstance. You know, the first witness is, number one, you, you're a witness. Number two, the Word of God is a witness. And number three, your circumstances witness to you. Now, the circumstances are always saying you don't have enough money. You, you, you know, you don't have enough faith. It's too big of a storm. It's too big of a crisis. You're too old, you're too young, you're too white, you're too black, you're too much of this, you're too much of that. Your circumstances forever are screaming. That's the Goliath in your life, is that voice that just mocks and penetrates. You can't do it, you're gonna die. You're never gonna lose the weight. You're never gonna get that promotion. You're never gonna be strong again. You'll never walk again. They, they all scream at you, but then there's you, see? And then there's the Word of God. Now, the Word of God says the opposite of their circumstances. The Word of God says, as your days so shall your strength be. And the Word of God says that I'm going to connect you to the wealth and take you to the wealthy place. And the Word of God says that let this mind be in you and I have peace that passes understanding. And the Word of God just fires away and, and then you're in the middle. And you see the Word of God saying this, and then you see your circumstance saying that. And this scripture says, who do you agree with? If you side with your circumstance, that'll be established. If you side with the word of God, that'll be established. You and I are the deciding factor. To be established means God says, I'll put my name on it. I'll put my blood on it. I'll document that in the, in the hallways of heaven and it'll begin to take place on the earth. See, God said, I'm gonna put my name on sinking ships, on birds that can't fly, you know, and dogs that can't bark. And, you know, I don't, I don't put my stamp of approval on failure. I approve things that want to win, that reach for the prize and the mark of the high calling. And so you and I are the deciding factor. Are you going to agree with what you feel and what you see and what's talking back at you? Your age, your body, your bank account, you know, a disappointed employee, uh, an upset spouse, a bad report from the doctor. Are you going to let that just make you come into agreement with that? Or are you going to go over here and say, no, the Word of God says He takes me from strength to strength. That He renews my youth like that of the eagle. That let the weak say, I am strong. I'm going over here and agree with the Word of God. Well, when you do that, look out. Heaven's going to speak. Heaven's going to vote. God's going to put His name on it. It's a done deal. And big time breakthroughs coming to your house. That's your work for the week.